Hi, my name is Abigail Bradford and this is my restoration presentation. Um, so the title of my presentation is Building Zion. Um, it comes from the related unit of study, which is Unit 7, um, Zion, Gathering of Israel, and the Law of Consecration. And the related major concept is the various definitions of Zion. Um, so Building Zion is um, supportive doctrine because the doctrine of building Zion is like a timely teaching which is specific to this dispensation and it's also expanding on the core doctrine of the plan of salvation. Um, my two scholarly articles sources that I used um, were the first one was Joseph Smith's concept of the city of Zion by Stephen L. Olson from Joseph Smith the prophet um, the man edited by Susan Easton Black and Charles D. Tate Jr. Um, my second one was Let Zion in Her Beauty Rise, Building Zion by Becoming Zion, in You Shall Have My Word, Exploring the Text of the Doctrine and Covenants. Um, it was by Scott E. Esplin. Um, my two related talks um, were D. Todd Christofferson's Come to Zion from General Conference in October of 2008, and Bruce R. McConkie's Come Let, Isra Come Let Israel Build Zion from the Ensign in February 1977. So my two DNC verses um, are, the first one is DNC 109.58, which reads that from among all these, my, thy servants, the, son of, the sons of Jacob, may gather out the righteous to build a holy city to thy name as thou hast commanded them. Um, it shows this because it has to do with building Zion. It has to do with gathering Israel. Um, it has to do with the fact that part of our um, calling to build Zion is to gather Israel, um, and to gather the righteous, um, to build a holy city, which is Zion. Um, my second DNC verse is DNC 119 verses 2 and 3, which read, For the building of mine house, and for the laying of the foundation of Zion, and for the priesthood, for the debts of the presidency of my church, this shall be the beginning of the tithing of my people. I picked this one because I thought it was really interesting, the kind of um, connection that can be drawn between tithing and building Zion because tithing is something that like it's one of those things that we do in church that's not like it's not like mundane but it's almost like it almost is mundane in that we don't really like immediately see a spiritual benefit or personal benefit um but it's something that we do all together as a church which leads to our um communal benefit and um has to do with our community in the work of building Zion. So um, my Joseph Smith papers quote was, in Joseph Smith's earliest revelations, the cause of Zion was used to broadly describe the focus of the work Joseph Smith was called to do. However, the term Zion was used more specifically to describe a, a community of believers living in harmony and equality. Um, I picked this one because I thought it was interesting how it talked about how um, Zion was basically like the focus of what Joseph Smith was called to do at the beginning. And it's kind of what I'll talk about later, like that whole period of him um, being called to be the prophet and um, the whole restoration, the whole like restoration period beginning there going up until about the 1950s is like the first period of building Zion, um, which I'll talk about later. Um, so my two key concepts, uh, my first one is building Zion is a process, not a destination. That process is what we are called to participate in this church. So the process includes kind of like I said, paying tithing. It also is like going to church, magnifying your calling, and also gathering Israel. Like I mentioned, President Nelson has said that gathering Israel is the most important thing happening on earth right now. And that is a part of the process of building Zion, which further explains that building Zion is um, an important process happening on earth right now that we can all be part of. Um, and then we are all we all are part of being members of this church um, and also being missionaries for it and spreading the word of God. Um, my second concept is building Zion is divided into three parts. The past beginning with the first vision and concluding some 125 years later, the present beginning around the 1950s to the second coming of Jesus Christ, and the future continuing the 1,000 years of the millennium. So this is like an almost direct quote from the Ensign article from Elder McConkie that I studied for this. Um, that article was actually like a transcript of a talk that he gave in Lima, Peru. Um, I totally recommend it. It's really good. You should definitely read it. Um, but it was interesting that he kind of made this like connection that he made and this like, I don't know, like allegory that he talked about how it's, 
um, divided into the three parts um, because it's really interesting thinking about how building Zion is a process and it's some it's a process that some or probably all of us will never see like the result of if we're saying if we're thinking of like Zion as like a destination as in like the kind of city that Enoch had that's not something that we will see happen in this life um because the millennium is probably not happening for a while the second coming is probably not happening for a while but we don't know um but it also just emphasizes how important that process is because we are in like that second period right now um where so much is happening building up for that and everything that we do is important because of the kind of um process that the kind of like benefits that it has the um what it will build up to and then finally my key takeaway was that building a zion building zion is a process not a not a destination we are trying to get to many of us will never see the future part of zion the millennium but it is the process of getting there that is our goal the process that we're having right now that we're doing that we're going through that we're working in is the goal and that's where we're supposed to be at um, I just want to end by saying that I know that um, Zion is a true doctrine. It is a true and important part of the plan of salvation and is an important part of our mission here on earth. And um, I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.